Juliana's voice was really relaxing to, to me. So I just kind of closed my eyes and I just sort of tuned in to that. And I just kind of followed it and let her sort of talk me into the state that I eventually got into. I love chanting, I love Indian music and ragas. And so I'm pretty used to meditating in the context of doing yoga, but I'm not that used to meditating in the context of just sitting in a room full of people with like a bright light and just go meditate. So it was really cool to actually reach that point um, through, I guess through her guidance, you could say. So it was really relaxing and really um, hypnotic and just really refreshing. I've had guided meditation before, yeah. Um, several times, actually, because, you know, just in the context of doing yoga for years, you know, you go to different classes and you'll have different guided meditations. But, um, yeah, I have to say I was kind of surprised. I was caught off guard because I didn't know that I would get this far in, just in this context, with not having done a yoga practice just now, you know. So if, I'm used to physically getting all the kinks out of my body and then meditating, and which is a different task, different experience. I was resistant to it, I think, at first, and it took some chinking away at the armor, but once I got in there, it was uh, definitely very effective. Well, I, I really enjoyed, I loved tonight's experience. I like the, um, starting with the guided meditation from Juliana. It's the first time I sat with her, and uh, I'm ex I was excited to sit with her because Shinzen Young is one of my favorites, and that is her teacher. And uh, I really enjoyed her guided meditation. It was different um, than I'm used to, and I found it uh, very uh, fulfilling. I enjoyed it. And, uh, it was my first time actually experiencing a musical performance uh, directly after a guided meditation and I really, really enjoyed the experience. I was excited to, to participate in it and it was even uh, better than I was thinking. I was trying to focus my awareness, um, as Juliana was saying, to try to practice uh, on different aspects at different times of the performance and I thought it was uh, it was excellent. It was a great practice for me as well as just enjoying his, his musicality. I loved it. I thought it was a spectacular experience. Can't wait to do it again, actually. Adding the music to my, uh, especially to a guided meditation directly afterward, I think uh, is something new and the insight for me would be uh, it actually helps uh, taking the awareness from the sitting meditation directly into the real world, in this case the, the musical concept, the musical performance, and uh, applying that practice to that, which is great. It was amazing. I really enjoyed the um, addition of music into the practice, both an interesting meditation and an interesting experience of art, of music really really unique. Um, I've never been to a meditation that incorporated music in that way before. It was um, it was truly a, a whole audio experience, uh, a really different and powerful way to meditate. It was a new, med new kind of meditation experience, it was great. Compared to more traditional guided meditations, it felt like it was more of a full body experience I think and just incorporating the music and the experience of art made the meditative experience a little more deeper and um, in, in possibly more meaningful. I would really encourage other people to try this out. It was a lot of fun. It was an enjoyable experience of art and community um, and it was also a unique and different way to experience meditation. I would highly recommend it. Juliana's um, initial kind of introduction to kind of set the foundation uh, was just a really interesting combination. Until you really have the experience of it, you know, you really aren't going to quite get it. And um, 
my experience was really pleasant. I came with a, you know, I was tired and I'd been out in the sun and the water and, uh, and I have a lot of energy now. And um, it was just a, a really quite pleasant, sweet experience. I really enjoyed it. It just naturally lent itself to meditation because it was just the flow. And knowing that I didn't have to move with it, I love to dance, but knowing that I didn't have to, you know, exemplify what that means to me or how it resonates to me, it's none of that had to happen. It's just I could just sit there. Wow, that's cool. And uh, and still be present, you know. It was it was an auto, an automatic for me that I was going to pay attention the whole time. And um, and I definitely did. And and through that attention and the focus of my presence and awareness. Uh, without the mind going off in different directions, which can happen in my meditation, um, I was able to cycle through a lot of the, the, the um, energy within the body that otherwise sometimes I, I fight, you know, which is could call, I call pain sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a musician, so music's a major part of my life and, and in all aspects. It's, it's healing, it's my expression, it's uh, my escape, it's also my bread and butter, so I have an immense amount of respect for it and uh, uh, not a love-hate because I don't ever hate it, but I have a very intense relationship with music. So. Very relaxing. It is uh, a unique experience I've not yet had, or I haven't been guided into. Um, I guess I had some expectation coming in, which was interesting to let go of in the whole process, and uh, feel really relaxing. I'm a professional musician, and I I'm also a longtime meditation trainer and uh, practitioner, and I decided that I wanted to merge these two passions of mine. You hear the word meditation thrown around a lot. A lot of people don't really understand what it is, why you'd want to bother doing it. Um, they don't have access to simple, straightforward training that, that just explains, look, this is how you do it, and uh, you know, step by step in a straightforward way. And so I wanted to kind of elevate people's awareness of, and understanding of uh, what meditation is and the value of it. So that was one thing I was drawn to. You know, music is such a pleasant, joyful experience. And sometimes if you start meditating, it can be frustrating because you're not getting a lot of uh, positive experience initially. It can be um, dry, kind of dry. So when you listen to music and, and you meditate, while you're listening to music, it's enlivening, and you get that instant biofeedback um, from the joy of the process uh, of listening, and then that gets heightened and magnified by practicing meditation at the same time. So you're actually taking something you love to do, and you're taking it a step further, and then you can feel the results of the meditation more clearly, and that's going to motivate you to keep doing it. Papka Zen has the potential to radically change the way you hear music, which in turn has the potential to radically change the way you live your life.